I said, well, you know, how can we use Twitter to truly sell? Uh, and this is where I think a lot of people differ with me on how I use Twitter. Uh, there are these group of people that I call the Twitter Nazis. <laughs> and the Twitter Nazi has this opinion that they know how everyone else should use Twitter. And uh, when I encounter Twitter Nazis, which is basically every day, uh, typically their perspective on me is that I use Twitter as a marketing tool, as a marketing weapon, and that's absolutely incorrect, uh, if not immoral, and unethical, and evil. Uh, the, the thinking for them is that you know, Twitter is a social media platform. It is to connect with people. It is to develop warm and fuzzy, kumbaya, Prius, vegan, and Birkenstock relationships. <laughs> and so along comes a guy and he just pollutes Twitter. So he's always promoting all talk. And my response to them is tough. Um, I, I, I think one of the beauties of Twitter is that you know, no one can force you to read another person's updates, right? And so I invented an acronym that um, many people think stands for something else, but the acronym is UFM, U-F-M. So when people complain about my tweets, I basically send them a message that says UFM. <laughs> and they often wondered what UFM stands for. Um, some, of, some people think it stands for you something moron. <laughs> Which I must admit is appropriate in many cases. But it really stands for unfollow me. So um, that's my acronym of the day for you, UFM. So when, when, if, if you ever encounter Twitter Nazis and they're telling you that you don't use Twitter right and you, use, and you should do this or change your behavior with Twitter, just send them a three letter tweet. You have 137 characters left over. Just tell them the awful. So, uh, back to the demo. 